Okay. So first thing uh, we do when we start to create a new family, we click new. We are redirected to the Revit family templates folder. They are under RFT extension, like Revit family template. And uh, as you can see, there is a long list of, of these templates and we can use an English one. Um, and they are basically categories of Revit. For example, if you want to start a modeling a new window, we will probably use a metric window template. If you want to create a railing support, we will use this template. But we have also a whole set of generic model templates and some of them are very, um, very useful and uh, have have elements that other templates don't have. For example, we have generic model two level based or generic model line pattern based or floor based or face based. So they, they are generic model templates that we will use very often. Um, and uh, But we will learn it step by step. So don't worry. Some, uh, some templates I will open for example this one like metric window template has already some object inside it for example wall and a cutout other uh, we can also access new family creation process from from this menu although other like for example uh, rebar shape definition Right, has some reference planes er, and uh, different tools already uh, in on the on the ribbon. So inside of template, we can have many options that uh, are not accessible when we uh, when we choose another one. So it's a very crucial to know which template to use. Uh, it's not always that straightforward because we often use generic model templates that I mentioned earlier right for example we use generic model face based right we have face here in this template which we'll later uh, use as uh, as a face that we will at attach element to in, in the project and we can switch the category of this template into another one so for example if we create a window here using face uh, generic model face uh, template we can always switch to windows so i'm just mentioning it uh, at the beginning of our course so you don't have to uh, worry about the naming of the templates it's uh, rather what what the template has inside right so even if i select a metric window i can always switch it to another category but more important for me it's what's inside so that's a basic thing and we will start uh, in this course with a template of generic metric generic model which is the most basic one i will maybe add this location to my folder so i will access this this folder much quicker i will click open or you can uh, create uh, in options file location location of the family template files so i can go to browse and search for english okay uh, i didn't uh, maybe mention uh, when we were analyzing this this list that we also have um, templates for the annotations so we can uh, create a new tag new elevation marks new symbols there's separate set of uh, tools for annotations which are also families in the Revit hierarchy and we have also a Revit mass environment which is totally different and will not be covered uh, at least in this course but it's a different environment for creating a conceptual designs okay so let's go back to the to the view and we have now our first family family template opened and in next lesson we will start to model first basic geometry.